Real people. Real radio. Wherever you are, make it TFR. Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome. We are broadcasting live from the mothership. You are tuned in and listening to Starseed Energy Radio with your host, Jonah Bolt. Starseed Energy Radio, where you can always tune in to hear the colors and see the music. Starseed Energy Radio goes live in 3, 2, 1. All right, what's up, Spaceship Earth? Thanks for tuning in. You are now receiving a live transmission from Starseed Radio, where you could always tune in to hear the colors and see the music. I'm your host, Jonah Bolt, the Octorian Starseed, and it is another beautiful day here in sunny South Florida. Oh, just kidding. It's been raining all day, but it is still Florida, so it's good to be back here in the dirty south today is friday december 4th 2015 it has been raining i think since yesterday but that's pretty normal here in south florida hope everyone's gonna have a great weekend we'll be heading down to art basil here down in miami very excited about that lots of burner friends lots of excitement going on alex gray the whole shout out to the moksha gallery and the moksha family we'll be seeing them and our good friend cyber pixie for hooking us up with some free tickets. So thank you for that, Star Sister. Always a good time. First, we want to give a shout out to Star Seed Radio. Check us out for the latest news and updates. We have some Twitter feeds up there, always putting up some new articles. Stay informed, as well as check out Star Seed Technologies for some new sustainable, all different types of technology from water. We have different uh, power source technologies. We also have a whole boatload of information on free energy. I'd love to send people. Just fill out the form on the left. I'll send you about 15 PDF files about free energy, solar power, all sorts of good stuff we've been collecting. And, of course, the last website to check out is starseedgold.com. Uh, this company is doing some amazing things. You could save in gold and also uh, make a little something for you and your family. And just a little fun fact for people, gold is from space. It's a fun fact I learned about a month ago, but very interesting stuff. I've been learning about gold and the metaphysical properties, how high vibrational it is, how it clears all your chakras. So we're talking about some pure 99.9% pure bullion gold. That's what I'm talking about. Watch the video. Contact me direct. Go to starseedgold.com. Watch the the video. There's a free uh, account you can set up. doesn't cost anything. And then give me a call. Or if you have any questions, you can contact me directly. This is really something we're putting some attention into because we believe this new system is getting people off the fiat and into gold, which is a very, very important time, important thing, especially for these times that we have now. So with that, we're going to get the show started with our daily quote. Learning how to leave people alone and going on with your life is a needed skill. You must master it. That quote from Higher Perspective. If you check out Higher Perspective, I believe .com is their website. They're always putting up good quotes and also good information on there for you to check into. Uh, with that, we're going to go over some top a uh, news headlines and some other uh, top stories of this week, and then we're going to bring on Philip Collins and Joel Anastasia, who join us every Friday for our news from a higher perspective, a 5D perspective. And these are the gentlemen from the Angel News Network. Check out the angelnewsnetwork.com. They are definitely informed on the higher realms, which is why we have them on the show, to inform us what this news may really be coming from, what may what what it may really be about coming from the higher realms. So with that, there's been lots of talk this week. We know about the big mass shooting that happened out in California. Uh, uh, 14 people were killed. I think 21 have been injured. Now these people have been identified as Muslims. Some people are saying it's a terrorist attack. Some people are not saying it. Uh, but the fact is that this has been happening very frequently, especially over the last month. There was another mass shooting this week in Georgia, which the news has not talked about at all since they're focused on the California one. Just a few weeks ago, there was another mass shooting in California. So we see this as something that is ramping up, not just here, but we had the Paris attacks. 
Uh, we've had lots of things happen. The Paris tax happened uh, over the holiday weekend. So there's there, there's definitely things ramping up in that sector um, with homegrown terrorism or uh, talking about ISIS. Another really big story I want to touch on as well is what's going on in Syria. I really want people to understand what's happening in Syria. So Syria has not asked NATO. They have not asked the U.S. They have not asked the U.K., any of us or them, to help them with the rebels, quote-unquote, which we uh, uh, equipped and armed and trained. Uh, and now Russia has stepped in with China and Iran, and even Cuba has sent tro- troops on the side with China, Russia, Iran, and a few other nations. So there's this coalition that is backing the Assad regime over there. They've been uh, just dropping nonstop bombs and everything else. And now NATO just announced yesterday that NATO is going to help Turkey and protect Turkey, meaning against Russia, which Russia said don't get involved, Turkey, because they shot down one of their bombers. So really what's playing out, let's cut to the chase, is you have U.S., the NATO nations, and uh, whatever other alliance they have, Japan and others, against basically Russia and China and everything else. Now, the BRICS bank has been launched. China launches new gold-backed currency. The dollar is not going to be along, uh, not going to be around much longer. We've been talking about this for a long time. What a fiat currency is, and maybe we can get some clarification from the Angel News Network gentlemen about what type of system maybe we can expect. Uh, over the next few years because once the dollar does collapse, it's going to be a domino effect. It's going to be a domino effect because the currencies are all connected. We know it's a fiat. And even now, hedge funds around the world have been also reporting losses, major losses. We also have goods uh, on tankers that have been sitting out for months now. We have hundreds of tankers full of oil sitting off our shores, not being allowed in. And even over the black Friday, there was a huge dip in consumer purchasing from last year. Now, they did a study on that on Black Friday. 47% of this country had either bought something online or bought something in the stores, which really blows my mind when you think about half the country went out and spent money when we're really not in a strong economy at all. People should not be going out there, running their credit cards, and doing things like that. Now, before we get started, going back to the San um, Bernardino shooting, the active shooter drills have been carried out there every month at San Bernardino um, Inland Regional Center. Staff even tweeted uh, the drill has started at the beginning of the raid. So I want people to just see two sides of the perspective here. It's like the Sandy Hook shooting and other ones where, you know, there's all these false flags and things. So you have to look at the underlying uh, issue of why something like this would happen, which is gun control, gun confiscation, the war on terror, fear, things like that. So I just want to give you that other aspect that right where this shooting happened, they were doing active shooter drills every month at the San Bernardino Inland Regional Center. So what are the chances of that happening where real shooters come in after they've been practicing everyone? Probably a zillion to none. But hey, who am I? I'm just reporting some articles. Do your own research, as I always say. So big stories this week, big things to pay attention to. What's happening in Syria could really escalate, and what's happening uh, here in the country could really escalate into uh, something not good when you talk about home, home terrorists and home terror and things like that. And that's really been the big talk and the big uh, you know, news from this week is the radical you know, Islamic people that are attacking all over the world, Paris here, homegrown terrorists now, so definitely something to pay attention to. And with that, I'd like to now bring on uh, Philip and also Joel, and we will hopefully discuss some of this and get a more of a higher 5D perspective where Joel will open up, or Joel will ask the questions why Philip opens up to the higher realms as he opens up as a channel, and we can speak, and Joel will interact with some of the angels and whatever does come through in the higher realms for us today. So with that, gentlemen, thank you. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving Day weekend, and thank you once again for joining us on the show. Hi, Jonas. Joel here, and Philip. Uh, it's Philip. I'm just going to go into trance here, and I'm getting a signal that, again, it's going to be the Galactic Federation coming in. So just give me one moment to go into trance, please.
Greetings, beloved humans. We come to you once again from the Galactic Federation. We are a council of many civilizations within your galaxy called the Milky Way who work in concert with many civilizations within the galaxy within your own. Dear ones, as your news brief has revealed and continues to re reveal, your world continues to be in upheaval and separation and confrontation. We wish to come to you to give you an additional perspective as to what is happening and why it is happening. As has been discussed in the past, there are many hidden forces, the few controlling the many, that are creating this duality and separation leading to confrontation. We urge you, dear humans of planet Earth, to follow the money. The forces that are creating the duality and separation on your planet have no national boundaries. It is no longer one country against another, dear ones, even though it appears that way. That is a mask. That is an illusion. The forces have no boundaries. They pretend to have national boundaries, be it Chinese against America or Russian against America or whatever. But their aim is to keep you in chaos. Their aim is to keep you in separation. It is the destiny of your planet, as, as it has been with many planets within the galaxy of the Milky Way, to evolve into a higher state of consciousness, to be able to join with us directly. We are not allowed, as you know, to interfere with your freedom of choice and freedom of will, but we are attempting to guide you, to guard you in some cases from the forces by bringing applied knowledge, wisdom, into your information, into your mental bodies that are moving back into service to your knowing hearts. You have many, many erroneous belief systems within your world that have kept you in duality and separation for millennia. It is time for those of you who choose through your freedom of choice and freedom of will to become aware of the truth. There is very little truth in your world, dear ones. Your pie, your human pie, if you will, is slicing up into three formats. One-third of you are going to assist and be a part of the shift into a higher frequency and conscious of existence. There are a third of humanity that will resist this. There are a third of humanity who have no idea what's going on. So we ask you, as you listen to our perspective, which of those thirds do you feel that you are? If you are an aspect of the third who wish to be a part of the shift and the change, then we ask for your resonance and discernment to listen to what we have to say and to decide about how you feel about it and how you think about it, what choices you can make. Within this, let us now open up to some of the news briefs. You have been discussing your monetary systems, dear one. Your monetary systems are also based upon debt and illusion and often delusion. You are in the process, as many of your past advanced civilizations have been, of moving back to a gold-based or precious metal system. These metals were created from stars, from other systems, other galaxies, and even part of your own galaxy, which came into your Earth field. They contain an energy, an electromagnetic force within them to support your pathway into a higher state of consciousness. In the past, these metals and previous civilizations were used as spiritual guides. They were not used necessarily as a monetary system, but now they are being used so. So by using these precious metals as an earth-based, at this point, system, it will allow you to have a, a higher frequency of exchange, of monetary exchange. Your paper exchanges, as many of you know, are largely based upon debt. There is not a lot of truth and reality within them. They are not going to demise automatically and as quickly as you may claim. There will be a systematic demise of these systems, but it will take time for this to do this before there are many forces controlling your paper monetary systems based upon debt. So let us go through some of your headlines and create a dialogue which will assist you in integrating a higher round perspective. How may we help you? Well, of course, the um, the overriding story that continues, because I think the last time we came together, we were talking about the mass shootings in Paris. Now we're talking about 
San Bernardino, and uh, Jonah referred to another one in Georgia that didn't get too much uh, attention. So if the objective is to uh, create upheaval and separation and confrontation, they're successful. And, of course, most of our listening audience would, would uh, respond by saying, so what do we do? There is no doing involved, dear ones. It is a matter of shifting your consciousness of your beingness. If you're going to choose love, which is the foundation and the meaning and value and purpose of this particular planet, you're learning to love. Twelve star systems came together which seeded this planet to create a love adversity of learning to love self, self representing all that there is, and having that loving self relationship mirror out to others into world service and beyond. What you are experiencing is a combination of elements, dear one, but the basis of all of it is the relationship with self, a non-loving relationship in this case that goes into a collective where those who also have non-loving relationships come together to perpetuate an action against others who they feel they have a grievous against. These individuals, these collectives, are also being financed and supported by these hidden forces of which we speak. It is your choice, your freedom of will, to decide whether you wish to really allow these arms, these guns, these weapons to be freely available to those within a non-loving situation. You're battling with the concepts of how do we protect ourselves from this as opposed to allowing people to have these weapons and destroying one another. It is a process that you have chosen to go through, dear humanity, to learn the way you need to learn. There is an intention to harm within this process which prevents you from evolving into a higher state of consciousness. Please be aware of that. No intention of to harm is allowed in the higher frequencies where we reside, particularly in the five, fifth dimension and beyond. Is there anything else we can help you with regarding this? Well, you were uh, sort of implying a political aspect to this because you alluded to the fact that uh, we allow weapons to be freely available, and um, um, we, we might as well say flat out uh, the Republican Party and the National Rifle Association have made it very clear that there will be no changes about restricting um, the uh, availability of firearms or even background checks. Dear one, we do not get into a political arena, but we are making an observation of those within your political arenas of how they are behaving and why they are behaving that way. In order to keep people in conflict, the duality and separation, that's the agenda. There are many people within your political systems that are not even aware of the hidden forces of which we speak. They end up being pawns and players unaware of those who are really manipulating them. It is a time, if you so choose, that some of your conspiracy theories really come into truth. Again, because there's very, very little truth of the new world today. And as the phrase says, the truth will set you free. Following the money will help you, dear ones, as to see where these things are being financed. As you look to some of your terrorist organizations, identify their weapons. Identify the uniforms that they wear. Identify the food that they eat. Where is it coming from? Identify who owns the fuel that allows them to create a monetary system to perpetuate their agendas. But dear ones, let's also get into the, a deeper cause and effect of this behavior. Many of these individuals, through a lack of equality, harmony, and balance within this particular planet, feel hopeless. There is no equality in their lives. There is no balance in relationship to self or other. There is no harmony. So collecting themselves within people who resonate at the same vibration is what is taking place. There are mass forms of population on this particular planet who do not feel assimilated or supported. This is what the few control and the many wish to create. So in effect, what you are experiencing in your world today is a cry for help, is a cry from individuals who really wish to be a part of the world and have not been allowed in. Many of these factions have gone and assimilated or attempted to assimilate into other cultures which would not allow them to be in an equal basis. As a result of that, they are thrashing out. Does that help you? 
Well, it, it does. Before this program began, I heard a, a news analysis that talked about the fact that whereas uh, the um, the movement to, to radicalize Islamists is much stronger in France, that there's a reason for it, that uh, so many of these young people of color and Islamic people have not had an opportunity to be integrated into the French economy or the French culture. One of the reasons why it's been relatively peaceful here in the United States is that the, uh, is, uh, the, those of the Islamic faith had much more freedom, much more opportunity. And um, one of the, the points that they made was be careful about how we respond to this because if we try to become restrictive and uh, allow Islamophobia to take over, we, we might be creating the very conditions in France that gave birth to the violence in the first place. Exactly, dear one. It all bases into equality, harmony, and balance, balance, balance between the masculine and feminine energy, balance between all expressions of your religions, which you do not always express the true intention of the higher forces. You're all the God force experiencing itself. You are the creator creating. Your religions do not always teach you this, that you are the creator creating, but you need to step outside your relationship with self to experience the higher realm. This is not true, dear ones. You all have a God source within yourselves, a God power, if you will, within yourselves, which can be accessed, learn to be accessed, and to radiate out. Most of your religions have as a foundation the spiritual truth, love one another. But the controlling elements within these religions have prevented this from perpetuating in a mass level. Thus, in turn, you have the duality and separation within the governments. You have the duality and separation within your political systems. You have duality and separation in almost every aspect of the human endeavor at this point. It is reaching a point of critical mass. It is bottoming out, to use your vernacular, dear ones. And where it goes from the breakdown of it into the breakthrough, moving into a higher state of consciousness, is strictly up to you. It can be the demise of your world as you have known it, or it can be the creation of a new paradigm. So we of the Galactic Federation ask you, what do you choose, dear humans, within your freedom of choice and freedom of will? Does that help you? So the creation of a new paradigm, um, if, we, if we are truly serious about it, then we need to be conscious and aware uh, whether or not we are creating conditions of equality, irony, and balance, both in ourselves and in our community. Exactly, dear ones. You're being given many tenets, codes, equations. You're learning how to master energy. You're learning how the components of yourself, the basis of energy, affect you in a constructive or destructive way. You are largely now taking energy, not only in your individuated incarnational cycles, but also in how you use energy to create weapons in a destructive way rather than a constructive way. We of the higher realm have made it a priority and a commitment in our lives to use energy only in a constructive way. That is not to say that there aren't forces in creation that work in a destructive way. They do. It also has to do, dear humans, with how you would construct in your original species was created on this particular planet. You were involved as an experiment, which is an amalgamation of you and some advanced civilizations, some of them constructive, some of them destructive. You're in the process of having these destructive elements be healed and moved into a higher state of being. You are more aware of the destructive activities on your planet than ever before because of the communication and transportation systems and technology which have been gifted to you, dear ones, from the higher realms. They were not originated or created within your human mind. So things may seem actually worse, as we've said before. In reality, they are not. There are more of you who have chosen to be on the planet at this particular time to experience this ascension process through your freedom of choice and freedom of will, you have made this decision. So there are more of you being affected because there are more of you who chose to be here. There are more of you aware of it because of your communication and transportation systems. It does not mean that it is any worse proportionally than it has ever been in the past. Does that help you? 
Well, it, it does. I'd like to, to swing over to a subject that uh, Joni referred to and you alluded to earlier, which was the issue of paper versus gold-backed currencies. Um, there are a lot of people put a lot of stock in gold and they watch gold plunge. Now, we know we, we there's probably a lot of manipulation going on. We don't know, but we suspect. Um, but uh, what, what, what were you saying about, um, I, I, th I think you even used the term um, higher vibrational currency that gold represents. Did you say that? The gold and the precious metals of your planet is you, as being used as commodities are affected by the manipulation of the paper currencies, which are based upon debt and illusion. What we are talking about is that these precious metals, such as gold, come from other frequencies within the cosmos. They're actually initially created in star systems, within stars themselves, and through the evolutionary creation of various planets from the stars within various solar systems, gold is gifted into various planets throughout the cosmos. There is a powerful electromagnetic energy within gold unlike any I other metal that's in creation. It is being mined throughout the universe as a healing element. In many worlds who have destroyed Now we're at the stages. Bust down the microphone. Study with the sages. Dust down the microphone. Channeling the greatest. Speak through the mouthpiece. Little red bone fire started from the southeast. Run with the warriors. Armors on my chest plate. Meet you with the battle horns. Blaring at the west gate. No time for Visualize an infinite a hologram of unconditional love above your head. This is a holographic sphere with the flower of life pattern infinitely expanding inwardly to infinity. The all-new Sacred Geometry Shop has arrived, featuring eight of the world's most renowned sacred geometry and visionary artists. The mission of SGS is to embed sacred geometry art, frequencies, and equations into all conventional products in order to raise the vibration and help heal one's own individual life. Products include art, canvas prints, skateboards, galaxy and iPhone cases, clothing, hats, jewelry, home decor, yoga mats, and a new sacred geometry skincare line. Enter the word Star Seed for an additional 25% discount. Log on today to save SacredGeometryShop.com and feel the vibration. The Coral Bay Domain is an exclusive community for people with an environmental consciousness and self-sustaining spirit. It will be the Caribbean's first totally green and off-the-grid residential development. This development showcases doing more with less and energy freedom. The community is located in Coral Bay on the island of St. John in the Virgin Islands. It will consist of 16 residential units in 8 duplexes. Each unit is a geodesic dome with electricity supplied by a vertical wind generator for each unit and a shared solar array. Please visit www.domain.com hyphen llc.com for more information portal to ascension is bringing forth groundbreaking information and awareness from the world's top visionaries scientists speakers authors doctors and spiritual leaders that are assisting humanity in unlocking their true consciousness we explore and pioneer cutting-edge information from globally renowned leaders on conscious topics through our integrated multimedia platform for online and live events these events are designed to empower and increase awareness for all of humanity so we may collectively shift into a paradigm based on unity transparency and truth we explore Explore a wide variety of consciousness relating to self-empowerment, sacred sound and vibration, UFO disclosure, ET awareness, true ancient history, quantum mechanics, metaphysics, conscious living, and spirituality. Our online platform is designed to assist you in expanding and awakening your consciousness. The Portal to Ascension website can take you front row seat live to the educators, teachers, and wisdom keepers themselves. Log on now to www.portaltoascension.com. 
Real Politics with Professor James Tracy. Mondays on Truth Frequency Radio. Off the moon and back, 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 back. You watch the world burn from your head. Or plant a tree on your spaceship. We'll never find another home. We can feel the wind blow. Will you watch the world burn from your head? Or plant a tree on your spaceship. Welcome back to the show. You're listening to Starseed Radio. Check out StarseedRadio.com for the latest news and updates. Thank you again, gentlemen, from the Angel News Network. Check, check out the AngelNewsNetwork.com. And as they were talking about, gold comes from space. It's an amazing new fact that I found out recently. Check out StarseedGold.com again for your free gold savings account or contact me directly if you want to get more involved. With that, we're going to be joined by our very own Jedi Maul, who is a favorite to the show because he comes from a very high perspective on looking at things and ancient teachings and ancient wisdoms in a way and bringing it down to the airwaves, which we love having. So, Jedi Maul, with that, thank you for joining us once again. How are you, Star Brother? Oh, Matakuyasin. Blessings to all my galactic and interplanetary relations. <laughs> You being at the top of that, Brother Jonah. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much again for coming on. And uh, I know we're uh, trying to get uh, uh, Chief uh, Rashid uh, Stone Coyote on, so hopefully we can get that. We can try him again in a minute here. Um, but I wanted you to uh, open up the uh, segment here. We're uh, talking about some uh, some very important topics here today. We have a lot of uh, craziness happening around the world, the shootings and wars in Syria and all this stuff. But we really got to, uh, one thing, keep it focused on center on yourself. And I know that you had some teachings you want to bring down uh, to uh, the, the listeners today from the ether. So I'll, I'll open this up to you, Jedi Maul, and uh, take it from there. Blessings to you on that. I, I'd just like to set a mystical uh, tone and awareness for everyone that's listening. And this is for everyone on the planet, every, every two-legged on this planet. Every one of us has blackness in the middle of our eyes that blackness is uh is from the depths of space from the bottom of the ocean from ancient kemet which was the black land and this blackness is what unites us uh despite the variances of color of the iris we all have this blackness in the middle of our eye and it dilates and it it gets focused based on the amount of or the lack of light and you know, at this particular day and age, it's very crucial that we first and foremost tap into that blackness within ourselves, that infinite, unlimited potential um, uh, that, that's inside of us, and it's also a mere representation of outside of us, and that we actively, proactively look for similarities and find similarities and commonalities in those around us, especially those who are lacking that awareness or forget that, that connection that they have. And I'm currently reading this book called Atlantis, the Antediluvian World by Ignatius Donnelly. It was first published in 1901 in, uh, in London by Harper Brothers and Publishers. On page 281, it talks about the people of Adam um, in antiquity, the Aditya or the Adites. And it says they are identified with the doctrine of the immortality of the soul. As people of the Yama, Yama was the god who abode beyond the grave. And in the Persian story appears as Yima, the ruler of the golden age and founder of paradise. So with that uh, in mind, hopefully we'll get on uh, Chief Stone Coyote, uh, Heart of the People, who is the Prime Minister for the uh, Choctaw Muscogee Yamasee Nation. And um, if, you, if you were to, to research the most widely researched uh, tribe, the two tribes that come up are the Cherokee and the Yamasee. The Yamasee are the root 
race of the indigenous people of the West Coast of Northern America. And these people are, are the seedlings of the civilizations that sprouted up after the fact. They, they were mentioned by the Spanish before Americans even came or before the English even came over here and a lot of the other Europeans. And um, this is the lineage where Chief um, Stone Coyote comes from. And he is part of the vast movement of the Rainbow Nation who is bringing like-minded people, regardless of the skin color, regardless of the color of your eyes, people who are connected to that blackness, that blackness in the center of their eyes. And especially for my Caucasian brothers and sisters and non-Afrocentric and, and Latin brothers and sisters, it can sometimes be very difficult or challenging to tap into their indigenous nature. And that's because the church actively stripped and raped and destroyed European indigenous culture and replaced it with church dogma and ideology. And it's going to be very crucial in this day and age for especially, I'm going to just say it, white men to stand up for Jewish men to stand up and go into their primordial indigenous cultures before the Hebraic cultures, before the Irish and Celtic cultures, and going back into these primordial awarenesses within the DNA to find a oneness and to remember the matriarchal lineages that the Native Americans held very, very strongly um, uh, with and the, the, the Constitution based on the Iroquois you know, tribe and the, the 13 grandmothers. And the Iroquois were the first ones to, when they, they had the Constitution brought before them by the founding fathers of this nation. They said, everything you're saying is all good and great, but you are missing the fact that the matriarchal lineages have the right to veto anything that men put forth. So uh, our clan mother of our nation, clan mother Rochelle, who is the founder and leader of the MorningstarFoundation.org that actively works with indigenous people around the world and actively promotes matriarchal-centric um, ceremonies and events and awarenesses. It, it's going to be very crucial for us, if we want to have an effect in the Middle East, to, to, to send the prayers and the blessings to the women over there, to stand up toward these men, that are doing these atrocities. It's going to be very crucial for the women over here to, to find commonality and unity across the board, regardless of Muslim, hippie, you know, um, uh, agnostic, Christian, Jewish. It's going, this is the age for men to lay a foundation for the women to rise up and to unify this planet. And, and, and for women to bring an awareness to, of giving birth to spiritual warriors versus warriors that want to come out and shed blood because that's their subconscious way to reconnect with the birth cycle and with, with first coming out of the mother. You know, and this, this is what I want to offer to people is sit with that blackness in your eye. Look in a mirror and be on what's on your face and your nose and how your lips look and the color of your hair and your cheeks. Look into the blackness of that eye and find your black self. Find your Yamasi self. Find your Kamishan Kemetic self, you know, and, 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 and expand that. And then take that out into the world and seek to find commonality with other people. Because people are hurting and people are disconnected from themselves. Yes, thank you so much for that, uh, my tribal star brother. And we see this happening uh, all, all over the planet. I saw a post that you posted not too long ago talking about uh, Isis, who the real Isis is of ancient Egypt and how that name has been hijacked and all this chaos that we're experiencing and how sacred Isis is and how sacred um, uh, the different Egyptian deities and gods are and what they mean. And um, I'm glad that you uh, posted that. I reposted that as well. And uh, it, it has to be talked about and given out the information to, to clear up the mishaps and misunderstanding of who and what ISIS is 
And uh, I'm sure that that name was given to that terrorist group for a specific reason. When you have, uh, you know, the union of Isis and Thoth happening and, and the, uh, the ancient sacred teachings that they brought by and they're trying to shun people away from that name and even, you know, bringing that up and talking about the real topics of it. Um, and uh, you mentioned the, uh, the CMY and nation, the Shakhtar Muskoki Yamasi nation. Uh, if you could tell the listeners about what that tribe is, the rainbow tribe, the tribe of many tones, many colors, and maybe a little background um, on the CMYN and what our mission and purpose is as a tribe. Oh, well, our dear brother and prime minister is the blood relative of Sekou Hidden Eagle uh, Gentle, who is, uh, if, you, if you Google and research that name Gentle and, and take a look or, or, or uh, uh, listen to. Oh, we have, we have the chief calling right now, so let's, okay. let's bring him in. Okay, yeah, later. let's let him come from, from his mouth. Oh, ho, chief. Oh, bro. Yes, Chief Rashid. We we are live. I'll let um, uh, Jedi Mall take over. So okay. I'd love to uh, introduce our audience to uh, Chief Rashid Stone Coyote, Heart of the People, who is the uh, Prime Minister and uh, one of the central um, um, uh, male um, uh, patriarchal givers of wisdom and insight and vision to this uh, this matriarchal lineage. Um, CMYN dot uh, org and and the Rainbow People. Please, to tell us tell us what you have to say uh, as as uh, given by Great Spirit. Well, Shamanichi, well, the Great Spirit, you know, number one has um, called us all together as a united people, and in that was an old prophecy for past the Hopian name more that um, one day that there will be a nation, a tribe that will bind together of many tones. And as we bond together, we bond together to do the great work of Great Mother, Great Mother Wachi. And as we come together, we will bring forth balance as we go through reservation, as we go through many nations, we will bring humble, clean water and cob building homes and power and good, good ways of being and unconscious elevation to share the different elements that's inside of our minds and our hearts as we unify each other through this gift. This is a spoken prophecy that came from the stars to the earth. And believe it or not, we are here in those times for this great transformation to take place as one family, one collective family through the seeing eye of truth. Oh, Chief, I'm, I'm, I would love to, to, for you to tell and to reveal to our audience some of the hidden stories about the, uh, the origins, the true origins of, um, of, of the indigenous peoples of, of both the islands and of the, the, the eastern coast and, and what, what, what the, uh, the records before the colonies were established and before you know America became a nation what 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 were some of the stories that that we have from antiquity about uh, the lineage that you're bringing forth indeed well you know there is many categories that have um, um, and stories that haven't been really talked about and so what we're going to do is going to start and, and embrace the many categories of the people of Turtle Island, all through Central America, all through the East South and the islands. And it's the other first word to say it is American Aborigines, um, Indigenous, and Native. Okay? Meaning that there were American Aborigines here in many places from the islands all the way to the Southeast you know, along from South Carolina, Mississippi, and therefore. These tribes and these nations stood in many tones. Most of these tones at this particular time period 
going before the 1400s were a very dark hue and lived humbly on the land and were not a migration across the Bering Strait. They were actually home. The migration, if we want to talk about it, some of them migrated from the Caribbean area. <clears throat> now, so when we say American Aborigines, that's letting you know that these were the people that signified the dirt. And then when we say indigenous, there's another class of group of people that are in Arizona and different areas, you know, um, South Dakota, you know, but what you research and really find out along the way is you find out that there were many classifications of areas that mound builders were in, okay? We're talking mound builder nations, which goes back really far. And then when you step forward and you start to recognize that somehow the people of the South and have all of a sudden became Africans where, number one, the word didn't exist at a certain time period, nor were they a migration across the ocean. To say this, this is how they got here. There were well over 3 million and then some in the Americas before colonists came across. But how you then get to a point to get to know who and what you are and where you come from. There were sugar plantations, rice plantations, cotton plantations. But in the colonial piles of Charleston is where, instead of you just going to the Indian Dolls Roads, where you find reclassified people. And most of these reclassified people after the time of the 1800s of Andrew Jackson winning the last war in the Florida Everglades of the Seminoles. What happened is they took in each of these people along the river, all of these different clan Seminole people. And Seminole is basically Yamasi because we are one family as far as, far as Lower Creek, mixed in of Choctaw and many other nation people along that area. But what you find out is that when the general took on different people and passed on to more people within their military, they just reclassified them by their last name, Jackson, Johnson, Sands, Wilson, you know, Christmas, and, and all of these different last names became their last name, but these were not African. These were people that were already here in the region of the America, and as we speak about it, um, the head of Turtle Island is sits in Florida, but not just Florida alone. Florida, even around areas of Florida, had separate islands. So people were just um, basically tossed here and there, you know, um, from island to island. But what was the cause of some of this? You know, some of the experiences, you know, there are good and bad things that each group of people have experienced and have done. There's no one group of people that was all clean and natural and good that didn't cause any effect. We all are a part of cause and effect. And because of that, we've had these experiences that have brought so many things to occur. So there are good stories that Moore's done, then there's bad stories that Moore's done. You know, and that's the truth. You know, it's true for for many things, for many ways, for Moors, you know, along with uh, Christopher Columbus after the Moors were finally conquered, which were the first rulers throughout the Europe world, okay, they ruled for over 10,000 years, but by 700, somewhere in there, they finally was conquered, but they were the pirates. They knew how to travel as the Circle Seven travel the seas. So as they were able to travel the seas and go around, they knew how to get. They knew that the, the world was definitely round and it wasn't um, it wasn't an end. It wasn't an edge. It was, it, you can get to place. So on that ship with so-called Christopher Columbus, you know, elves were some of the people that actually helped them across the water. Okay? To those places. Now, the story goes that 
they ran into Amerindian Aborigines, okay, which was people, you know, from the clans of islands like Jamaica and other places like that. And once the things that occurred with Christopher Columbus as they're traveling back and forth, and some of the kings in Coneville era said to ins- we are to enslave any one of these hues. So as they went out and they continued going different places, this is where the next level of slavery started to kick in. And what you find out is that when you really find out and think about what occurred is that the Moors ruled for a certain period of time, so they classified each group of people as the same. But we actually were. We are all just different with different forms of hue that might be similar to one another. But the key is in the dialects of the tone, the vocal cords, and how one speaks. So because of that, that is how you know that this is not the same tribe people. For instance, when the Spaniards first came in to the Yamasi land in South Carolina, what, what occurred is that they had what some would say call Africans on the ship, but they probably was another group of um, tribal people from one island or so, and they attacked, the Yamasi attacked, due to the fact that they didn't speak the same dialect, but they knew that they had a cue similar to theirs, and they feel like this is family. So the Spaniards, for that first time coming into South Carolina, was basically dismissed. So basically what I'm sharing is that another way there's a lot of things that have occurred, but to really get clear about who and what we are as a people, a lot of us have went through stages and, and someone would say, oh, Grandma, my grandmother said I was this, and uh, my grandfather said I was this, and, and um, oh, said, I didn't come from over there, this and that. People had to hide their stories of who they were as a people to be safe. Some pe- some tribes went into reservation, some went into segregation, because this was the only way of survival as time went on. You know, and me growing up in Oklahoma and experiencing my grandparents and the things that they shared with me and my mom shared with me and really connecting with my Chief and my cousin, Chief Seiko Hidden Eagle, my big brother, Black Wing Chief, Black Wing Falcon, you know, and all the different experiences, you know, and connecting with my uncle, Chief Danny, you know, my clan mother, Shell Matriarch, White Buffalo. These experiences, along with um, prayer and meditation and practice, have cleared a pathway to not look at life as saying these people did that, those people did that. What is it that we can do as one people to clear up, balance out, find our way, rise, shine, and take care of our mother? Because she's the calling now. This great rock that we live on, she's asking us to stand up and enlighten ourselves. But know who you are. Don't fear who you are. Find out who you are and stand in that truth and live by those aboriginal indigenous laws of truth and become conscious, truly conscious, because now there's no he or she did or I can't. It's about I will, I'm able, I'm willing, I'm stepping up. So I just wanted to kind of give a, a little story about certain things that occurred, you know, and where we're going now, this tribe, this nation here on the West Coast, we are multi-tone mixed of many uh, nation tribe people from different parts of different tribes coming together as one family, from Dene to Shoshone to Yamasi, Chata to Mashika, um, Tanva, the list goes on. We are, um, we are um, just a beautiful collective family, and um, 
We're ready to do our work and service and, and um, share stories. That's the only way, the only other way that we're going to balance out things by sharing stories and not to downsize each other but uplift each other and listen so we can teach each other forms of language, teach each other ways of being, and that within that we'll have a better respect and love for the next seven generations you know, to come with, as well as ourselves, <laughs> you know, to balance out the feminine and the male balance because no matter if it's, it definitely is the woman time on the planet, but at the same time, the, the feminine and the and the male energy must be in a balanced place. There must, there's not a place of higher than each other. It's about being balanced. And the key is in balance. It's, it's about the balance. So um, that's just a little something I wanted to give on that and Shona Vici. Shona Vici. I want to talk to us. Beautiful. Thank, thank you both for, uh, for coming on. And, uh, Chief, if you would, uh, if you can give out some information on, uh, the, uh, CMYN Nation website and, uh, and tribe. Yeah. So, um, if you want to go to www.cmyn.org and, um, write to us and, um, definitely we have different ceremonies that we are doing and want to come out and, maybe do a sweat with us, um, maybe go on a hike with us. And um, there's um, classes. We also have a TV show called The Chief and the Chef Next Door where we're going to be sharing me different things in different ways. Somewhat of information I've been like to know who you are. Look at the kind of each of you move a Oh, thank you both, Star Brothers, Jedi Mall, Chief and Chief, Stone Coyote. Thank you both. Blessings of light. Star Seed Radio. Attention. Attention. Do not attempt to adjust your radio. We are in control of it. It is no surprise to anyone listening to this broadcast that the alternative media has been controlled by corporate opportunists for the last decade. The truth you are seeking cannot be found with people who have agreed to to use their talk network as a flea market. The mission to wake up humanity is far more important than the profits they hope to gain by diluting your consciousness. As such, you are tasked with shifting the paradigm and sending the message that the minds of independent thinkers like you, can no longer be controlled. TFR is the only 100% listener supported station, and the last beacon of unadulterated truth. You too, can become part of this media revolution, by becoming a TFR supporter today, to ensure that truth continues to prevail over corporate greed. Together, we are, your protection from deception. And now it's time, for comments from our listeners. Joy writes, Really? The volume of your blaring ads are dangerously too loud. Very annoying. We just hang up. But if your ad volume was safe, same as program, we would more likely stay on and listen through and to ads. Please do not be worse than the mainstream media. Dear Joy, we're a 100% ad-free and listener-supported station. Wherever you're listening, they're most likely picking up our content and injecting ads over it. For an ad-free experience, you can always dial in to the TFR Listen by Phone option at 832-225-5308, where you can listen live ad-free or check out your favorite programs on demand. And remember, wherever you are, make it TFR. You're a busy podcaster, not a web designer, but you know.